Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome to uh, Carter's Journal, Episode 3, <laughs> a.k.a. Walking with Carter. Um, also, got in this, I got on this new uh, Bazooka Joe t-shirt. You guys like it? I had, a, I had one a while ago, but it was just like, it was getting really dusty and gross. So, I got a new one. Um, today, but before this video starts, I want to say... Um, and this is really more so for the journal stuff. This, these kind of videos, this is really made for me. Um, this is really made for me to, uh, journal. I don't like journaling in the traditional sense. Video has always been how I capture memories and how I remember stuff. If I record something, I remember it. So, <clears throat> this is really more for me. Um, if it helps someone else, that is freaking awesome. And I'm really happy with myself for that. Sorry, there's a loud thing over there. Um, if it helps someone else out, that's great. And I'm very happy about that. Uh, but number one thing is that these are made for me. Uh, and these are kind of just rambling videos. I don't have an actual point I'm gonna to get to. I'm just gonna talk about some of the stuff I've learned. So today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about one of the, uh, one of the most least discussed things in America. Most least discussed. Yeah, that's not how you talk. Uh, I wanna talk about one of the least, least discussed things in America that needs to be discussed a little more. Um, and that is overeating. Uh, overeating and undereating, you know? Uh, I think there are a lot of people that struggle with binge eating and, and not a lot of people talk about it, I think. I think it's kinda, it's kinda one of those situations where everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people struggle with it and no one really comes forward about it. Uh, there's a small little, there's probably some small little uh, community of people that do talk about that kind of stuff. For me, man, I'll just, I'll just start with my story. So like, there were always the people that ate less and needed to eat more and needed to eat more nutritional stuff. I was always the guy that needed to eat more nutritional stuff and needed to eat less of the of food. Like, I was... There were always those people that, you know, would turn down food. Uh, they would turn down food at like every corner. I was the guy that literally, I would just eat it. Like if there was food, if there's food in front of me, I, genu I genuinely probably will eat it. Uh, <laughs> it goes really far, man. I mean, I can eat, I can eat for so, I can eat so much in so little time and not be full and not be sick to my stomach. I don't know if it's something that I developed when I was younger. I remember when I was younger, I would eat myself sick to my stomach and I just don't do that anymore. When I eat too much, you know, I start to feel it the next day, not the day of. It's very weird and, uh, and I'm never full. I'm never full. I will never understand why that is, um, but it's, it's a problem, you know? I was, I think there's a lot of wind going on right now. There's not really a way to fix that, I'm sorry. Uh, I was the guy that was eating too much and I needed to eat very little. And I think there's kind of, since people struggle with the eating too little issue, I think there's kind of this thing in society where people tell you, you need to eat. It's good to eat more, eat more. And people would always tell me that when I would talk about like, I just struggle with eating and they're like, no, that's good. But no, it's not. Now, some people do need to eat more. Um, and not only do they need to eat more, but they need to eat nutritional stuff when they're eating more. Uh, and that's what I, I mean, I needed to eat less and I needed to eat nutritional foods. And I still do, I still struggle with it. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I haven't downed two entire bags of Takis since the recording of this video. I do very bad with it. I'm probably gonna struggle with it for the rest of my life. 
And if there's anyone else that's like in this boat, just know that like, it's probably super common. I, I, I haven't seen much on it, but I bet you it's super common. I bet there's a lot of people that are, uh, that are like this. They kind of, uh, you know, they just eat too much. Now, I think, I think some, some tips and tricks that I'm gonna give you that I try and use, that I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and tell you some of these. So, first of all, I think it's important to notice where you stand, what your relationship with junk food is. Um, when you have the decision, the classic apple or donut decision, when you are faced with that decision, how much anxiety do you feel? You know, kind of like, think about that. When you're trying to choose between the two, how much anxiety do you feel? Because I think that, that dictates where you should go with your relationship with food. For me, I don't think I feel anxious enough. I, I don't think that I am cautious enough. In those moments where I'm craving junk food, I will eat it. I just will. Um, I mean, I, I am a dopamine addict, guys. I, I Anything that releases just the smallest bit of dopamine, I will do. I mean, my body, will, my mind will just flow towards that thing. So figure out where your relationship is with food. And for some people, every now and then, you need to eat the donut instead of the apple. And that's actually something I got from Matt Diavella. Check him out, he's a really cool YouTuber. Um, he's helped me a lot on my journey. Uh, if you get a bunch of anxiety from the fact that you're about to eat a donut and you're scared that it's just gonna ruin everything and you know, you're trying to make the right choices, you did everything right today, you can have the donut. And actually, I think it's probably better that you do so that you can create a reward system in your brain. Um, stuff like that. I mean, that's, that's one of the things that's helping me reducing your plate size. That helps. That genuinely helps a lot. Uh, you know, we will eat whatever's in front of us, whatever's like closest to us. So, you know, don't have a whole bag of chips by your side, have a plate of chips, um, water, 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 if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I think I, I've said this in a lot of videos. I've said water and sleep in a lot of videos. Um, water, water is super important to, uh, to not overeat because uh, a lot of times when our brains are, are, think we're hungry, we're actually thirsty. And I can, I can guarantee this. I, I, uh, I promise that it does work because I've been doing it for a long time now and it works, it works, it really does. Um, stay hydrated, bros. You have to stay hydrated. Uh, it, it lets your brain know that you are not hungry. Your brain, eventually, you will get used. I think the thing is, is that we're a slave to what we want. You know, we're a slave to what our brain wants and what our brain wants is junk food and we don't know how it normally feels to, to like eat normally. You know, we don't, we, we're not used to that yet. Eventually you get used to it. Eventually you start to pick up on your brain's hunger signals uh, when, when it sends them and you actually start to feel hungry when you are, go, when you're eating. Um, I've, I've reached that point before, um, but the thing is, is I just struggle with it so hardcore. You know, I mean, I, 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 I struggle with junk food eating very bad so I've, I've ruined it a couple times for myself but once you're on that track try to stay on um, and allow yourself cheat days you know I mean and that's obvious like you can have a cheat meal every now and then you really can for some people maybe that's less than other people for me I think that I need it to be less but for a lot of people you know, you need to eat that donut. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna add less stress and more stress can lead to failing and relapsing from junk, on junk food. We're talking about it like it's drugs, but I mean, don't even get me started on that. American junk food is basically drugs, but 
that's all I really have to say for this video. Something that I've been thinking about today, my binge eating problems, and uh, and I wanted to share, you know, kind of what I'm what I'm trying to do to deal with it, because I'm actually getting fit for this role that I'm playing in a movie. I can't talk much about it right now, but uh, I've had to kind of. I only had like a month, you know, because uh, I I kind of fell off for two months. I I had three months to practice for it, but you know I fell off. So it's kind of my own doing. I'm working out a lot right now, but I'm happy because I'm learning to get my life back on track. If you guys learned something from this video, <clears throat> sorry that's kind of all over the place. Um, I'm getting my life back on track. It's it's uh, I fell pretty hard. Um, but I'm learning how to fall and get up faster, quicker. I'm learning how to recover quicker. Um, I'm becoming stronger from everything. And life is great. Uh, e even, even in the dark moments, life has some light. It does. Um, I mean, you know, for, for most of us, I think that that's the case. You know, um... Anyways, that's it. Sorry. I could literally ramble. I mean, I could talk for like a long time. I think that's why I'm doing these videos. I uh, hope you guys learned something. I think I said that like three times. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace.